Today we're going to be installing John Grady's turn signal cancel switch. This is a new thing he's developed. This is for the F, G, and H to replace the turn signal cancel that's currently in use at the bottom. This is an easy install. I'll show you how it goes and what it does. Installation for the cancel switch is quite easy. We're going up under the dashboard and there you find the original cancel switch. All we're going to do is disconnect right here and connect the new switch in. If you were to remove the turn signal cancel switch, this is what you would see. Now you don't have to remove it, but if you did, here is the, the beast. This is the horn ground wire. And this little roller here contacts the steering wheel column and gives you your horn ground. But we're leaving that right alone because we're not dealing with it. This is the critter that gives us trouble. And as you can see, there is a, there, see it? A plastic piece in the center, which engages knobs on the steering column. And as you make a right turn or a left turn, it will knock this over. And so long as you're turning in one direction, it'll hold it. That completes the circuit and your turn signal is activated and as you turn back this will get released and come back into the neutral position it's spring loaded but as you can see the springs inside of this one after 60 years have given up and this falls over and so it's not in the neutral position so, the car that this came out of, the turn signal switch uh, did not operate properly. It wouldn't engage. But these can also fail, uh, causing an electrical problem. And that circuit is, doesn't, is not fused. So... So this is the, the end of the pigtail that you're looking for up under the dash. And then you will wire into the other section. So let's give her a test.